Well, first of all, uh, I'd like to thank uh, our uh, business partners that were part of the Digital Mission Engineering Forum. And of course, um, all the, the wonderful insights from the thought leaders that participated in, in our panel discussions. Uh, it, the discussions that we had with them was just awesome. Also, of course, the, the, the folks that, that came to our Digital Mission Engineering Forum, it, most of these sessions were very interactive and we learned a lot from you. So we sincerely thank you for being part of uh, AGI's Digital Mission Engineering Forum. So I'm here today to talk to my colleagues, uh, Kevin Flood uh, and Jeff Baxter and Josh Riker, uh, who were all with part of the Digital Mission Engineering Forum. So let's start with uh, Kevin. Kevin, sure. you were moderating the panel on the operations and sustainment aspect of the digital mission engineering aspect. Right. Uh, what What were some of the key takeaways uh, yeah. from, from your panel? Sure, yeah, it was very insightful. I, I guess, Shashank, first I'd say, Right from the very outset, one of the big reasons for having these forums first off was just to validate the importance of digital mission engineering. And we got a very strong validation across the industry from government folks, from contractors, from industry partners, from vendors, and so forth. So that was great. And then as we transitioned over to talk specifically about operations, a couple of key themes came out. Number one, the digital artifacts, the th notions like digital replicas, digital twins, digital environments like we provide with SDK were all really important. But there's a big disconnect between the operations community and the engineering community. That was one of the big takeaways that we're going to be focusing on going forward is how do we make those connections. We heard a lot of comments about we don't really know as operators what we need until we see it. And we don't have a good way as engineers to bring some of those digital artifacts into the software mission systems today. So that's a bridge that we have to cross. The good news is all the technology is in place right now and it's being used commercially. We just need to figure out how to make it happen for the aerospace and defense community. Okay, thanks Kevin. Uh, so Jeff, uh, so you uh, were on the panel both uh, for the the, the 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 development the, the concept development through test and evaluation as well as on uh, Kevin's panel with uh, with operations and sustainment what were some of the the key takeaways uh, from your perspective yeah one of the things that came up quite a bit was uh, security and when you have these digital twins that are a representation of your complete system that is extremely valuable to us uh, but it's also extremely uh, valuable to our enemies right. so uh, and adversaries. So we de definitely need to make sure that security is in place, that we're protecting uh, those those models, those digital twins. And one of the one of the audience members uh, shared an example, uh, an analogy of the Death Star, which I thought was hilarious and very applicable because uh, in that case, the rebels had taken the technical readouts of the battle station and found a weakness and the rebels were able to exploit it. So we just need to be careful that uh, as we're building up these digital digital twins and all their models that were protecting those and not letting the adversaries get hold of them. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's that's great. You know, speaking of interesting terms and analogies that 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 I heard, uh, you know, one of the one of the things that I remember is uh, is the the the, the concept of uh, digital shreds versus digital threads, mm -hmm. right? So it's very important to be able to connect. The, the, those digital threads, because right now they it can end up being digital shreds if they're not totally connected, and your 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 tool connectivity breaks down, and you do not have the ability to to get those mission models traversing across the the engineering lifecycle. Um, also, we heard a lot about uh, behaviors and executing uh, uh, system architectures, uh, so tool execution, model execution. Those were some of the important challenges that came up. The importance of, of co-simulation came up quite a bit. Um, so, so these are some of the things that, that I heard as part of the, the, the panels that, uh, that I was moderating. So anyway, so um, Josh, uh, so you uh, led our uh, workshop in, in the afternoon along with our partners. Um, any, any takeaways from, from that? Because you were actually hands-on with some of our customers and some of our users. What, what were some of the things that you heard? Yeah, I think uh, continuing the idea of the digital shred, we had a lot of attendees that had a variety of these tools already available. They were ANSYS customers, they were SDK customers. Mm -hmm. um, but they didn't really understand that there were already avenues available to connect those tools. So I think the, the workshop really helped people understand that 
it's not necessarily a technical challenge right now in order to start to uh, go down this road and connect all these tools, but one of the bigger problems that they're going to run into is culturally, just getting into the mindset that this is available, it is something they can do. And so just making that shift to start that transition now is what's going to really help move this whole thing forward. Okay. All right, F fantastic. So, so Kevin, I know uh, we are planning on 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 taking this uh, farther. I'll yeah, I mean, certainly we gathered a lot of insights. You heard about some of them here. Our plan is to continue working with our partners and the industry thought leaders, and we're going to be coming out with a series of blogs. In my opinion, one of the great takeaways was that the answers to a lot of the questions that came up already exist, and it's just educating the community. So that's a step we'll be taking. So definitely stay tuned at agi.com on our blog site. Check out our YouTube channel and the website uh, for more information coming up to address these specific topics.